I'm Dr. Sherry Bass, and I graduated from the class of 1980. I was in a very unique position because I was one of the very few people in my class that continued to work here after I graduated. And one of the reasons I did was because of the people who mentored me, and I felt I wanted to be in academia. I felt an obligation to my school, personally me because I had more of a role here at the college, but also because my profession, making an investment in the profession and in the future of the profession. I also gave because many people think that, that the state is a cash cow and they have an endless supply of money to give. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that's not the case and the state cuts its budget frequently. So where does the college get money? Uh, they're not going to get all of it from the alumni, but they do certainly uh, are going to rely le less on the state and more on, on, on giving. I was given a choice uh, to, to give a large amount of money uh, because basically throughout the years when I was asked to give, I thought that I'd have to give large amounts of money. And I just gave small amounts each year. But I began to realize, wow, 20 years, 30 years have gone by and I've given this donation every year and it adds up. So that's helpful. Even if you don't have lots of money, you can give a small donation. When the Locker Legacy Program came about, I thought that was another great way to give uh, because you would have a plaque uh, in either your name or in memory of someone, whoever you chose, and it was put above the lockers. These are brand new lockers, and this way students who are here many, many years from now, long after I'm gone, will see my name and that I gave money to support the future of the school. And then a third way that I gave was through estate planning. And I was given two options. I could give a sizable donation now, which I chose not to do, or make it part of my estate planning. So once I'm gone, I would put aside a certain amount of money that would then be part of my will and part of my estate that would be given to the school at that time. I urge former alumni who've not been or visited the college to come to New York City. We're in spring now and the weather is nice. We've got beautiful Bryant Park across the street, which is a real highlight of us being here. So I urge alumni to come here to see how the college has changed and then maybe they would want to give to, to uh, continue in, in um, making those changes and allowing the college to make those changes.